Hello there, welcome back to Start Select. Hope you're not too tired because you stayed up all night playing Diablo 3. Actually, chances are you didn't, which brings us neatly into what's coming up today. So, Diablo 3 servers launch, then implode, and Capcom re-evaluates on disk DLC. Hi there, first up let's talk Diablo. The last one, Diablo 2, came out a decade ago. The latest, Diablo 3, was announced way back in 2008 and finally released everywhere except Russia last night. Stop! You cannot stand before me! Unfortunately, developer Blizzard then became a victim of its own success as the servers crashed almost immediately, keeping scores of fans from being introduced to the world of Diablo 3 and introducing them instead to Era 37, which, yes, is already trending on Twitter. The world must be told of the coming darkness. The thing is, even if you're trying to play single player, your copy has to authenticate itself through Blizzard servers in order to become operational. No server access, no gameplay success. It's certainly not an ideal scenario, but then, hey, you waited a decade for this game, surely you can wait a few hours more while you try to log into a server, right? No, that probably isn't making anyone feel any better, sorry. Anyway, rest assured the situation should resolve itself soon. Blizzard has taken Battle.net offline and launched more servers to deal with demand for authentication. Given a couple of days, things should probably be fine. Think you can hang in there or have you been punching your monitor the whole way through this news story? Let us know in the comments below. Next, a couple of months back, there was a slight brouhaha about DLC being present on the Street Fighter Cross Tekken retail disc and being locked away from players. You remember, it made half the internet react like this. Well, in an attempt to restore all those tables to their proper upright position, Capcom's stateside boss Christian Svensson has released a statement through the Capcom Unity website, announcing the developer is changing the way it's going to deliver DLC in the future. In a statement, Christian said, We would like to assure you that we have been listening to your comments and as such have begun the process of re-evaluating how such additional game content is delivered in the future. Our expert industry analysis has led us to hope that where Christian says re-evaluating how such additional game content is delivered in the future, he actually means changing the ever-living sh** out of how such additional game content is delivered in the future. Hey, we can hope. A cockatrice! But while Mr. Svensson says Capcom is changing its stance toward DLC being locked away on the disc, he also warns us we haven't seen the last of it for the time being. Dragon's Dogma, for instance, will feature some on-disc DLC. Christian, reminding us not to shoot the messenger, explained this by saying the decision to include on-disc DLC was made at the beginning of the game's development cycle, as at the time this was determined to be the most efficient way of ensuring certain content was made available. So while on-disc DLC isn't dead as yet, it looks like it may well be on its way out as far as Capcom titles go. What I want to know though is whether players are now planning to hack their way into that on-disc DLC with Dragon's Dogma in the same way they did with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, or whether the statement will be enough to convince them to let bygones be bygones. Please to feed the comment box below for it is hungry. In the meantime, that's all from me. More Start Select tomorrow. Error 37, which, yes, is already twen twending on Twitter. Hi there, thanks for sticking with us. You probably know the drill by now. If you want to watch more Start Select, you can click up here. And if you want to subscribe to GameSpot on YouTube, you can click up here.